hello and welcome back um it's been a while since i've shown my face on this channel i think it was 2022 was the last time i did and uh usually i look a little cuter but i already changed into my pjs um <laughs> and uh i don't know do i look different i don't feel like i do but anyways today i'm going to be doing an update on my winx collection this isn't everything everything um i did leave some stuff out like the stuff on my walls that I didn't want to take down. I'll put a picture of them. It's just like stickers and stuff like that. And then my bin with what I call the rejected Winx dolls. Um, those are just like the nude dolls and like... This angle's really weird. Okay, that's better. The nude dolls and like... Um, random accessories and hairbrushes and stuff from the dolls. Um... So, yeah, uh, this is not in any particular order. This is just whatever is closest to me. So let's get started. So this actually went to a doll that I have. Um, when I got her, it also came with this and just a little, little case of the mirror. This, it has the key. My brother actually broke the key, like the little tip of it, but um, it has wink's logo on it and i'm gonna try to speed speed run through all of this because i don't want all of my storage being taken away from this video anyways and then my mom got these stickers wink stickers from redbubble and i turned them into magnets with magnet sheets and here is one of them just the six girls and then i have enchantix of all of them i don't know what this stain is this was these were on my fridge for a really long time so it's probably something with food um and then for christmas for last christmas i got this winx lunchbox and this is like so nostalgic to me because i didn't have this as a kid but like i had a lot of character lunchboxes like this and i just noticed on the back like there's like a little name tag that is so cute um but yeah yes yeah, blue and still have flora on it the typical main three um and then i think yeah 2020 is when i got this um, I didn't know it was going to be new in packaging, um, because the seller just put the stock photo on it, um, but it is the, one of the first, well, one of the first magazines, this was for the four kids dub, this isn't like just the comic, because America made, uh, magazines for it, um, here it is out of the packaging, and here's Here's, I don't know what angle to do. Here's some of the inside. It's very cool. Uh, yeah, let me just put that back in the packaging. Okay, so the next, this keeps falling. The next uh, merchandise thing is this pen. I think I got this Christmas 2022, maybe. Um, it's Stella and Ginger. Well, on the actual pen, it has Bloom. For some reason, the packaging has Stella on it and has a little ginger keychain, ginger the dog. And I think I did take this out of the packaging and repackaged it, but I'm not too sure, which, which is why the chain is not in the right place, because I messed it up. Um, and then we have this card randomly. This came with um, another Winx thing I really wanted for Christmas, and this card came with it. Um, it's just from the little magical game thing. It's an Italian, so I'm not 100% sure what it says. It says something about a library. That's all I know. Um, and then we have, I don't remember when I got this. I think it was Christmas 2021, possibly. Um, I got, this is the 4Kids DVD, DVD, The Power of the Dragon Fire. It has Bloom on it, and inside, tell me that it's not the most nostalgic thing ever. Like, it has Sonic and whatever this is on it, <laughs> whatever anime this is, and the disc yeah look at the back um and then we have another dvd i found this i think in 2022 i found this at a thrift store um it's the nickelodeon secret of the lost kingdom movie and it includes seven bonus episodes i wanted to play this but i cannot find a dvd player in my house that works um here's the back and then the inside is so cool so it has the disc but it also has like all like the facts about each character or each wink perhaps it's so cool and i would take it out but it, it's a pain to put it back in i took it out once and i don't think i ever did it again the next thing 
is this Flora Belivix figure. She smells, she reeks of cigarettes, but she's so pretty. I think based on the bottom, that might be a little graphic, based on the bottom of her, I think she came in like some bathroom product, but I got her for, for Christmas last year. This, this is the one that came with this. Um, she is so beautiful, even though she's whitewashed. Um, I mean, look at her. And then we have, um, this kind of started the whole Winx collection for me. So I had this since I was a kid. Um, I say this all the time. I wasn't too big on Winx when I was a kid, mostly because my mom wouldn't let me watch it. But I had some of the toys, and this is one of the toys that I had, um, was Flora Concert figure and I just found her guitar recently I didn't bring it because it was too small I was scared I was gonna lose it um but here she is and she oh the reason she started it all because when I started getting back into Winx in like late 2019 I found her while cleaning my basement and then we also have Stella concert figure that I found probably like two years ago she was in my attic for the longest time because I had her since I was a kid this is another figure that I had and just looking at her is just so nostalgic like I just remember buying her like for my seventh birthday or something with my birthday money you buying her and being so excited and like oh my god all the memories are coming back sorry and then I found this oh my god her wings were like stuck this in a little uh goodwill bag a couple years ago um there was another one in there without the wings I don't know what I did with her um but this is just an Aisha McDonald's figure. So beautiful. I wish her bangs were pink though, like this show. Um, and then I think I got this Christmas of 2021 as well. We have the, this is something like literally every single Winx collector has. It is the Magical Game Tin, because this is very cheap and easy to find, as far as I know. Um, we have the Winx on it, and then the back has the tricks. Like it is so, cool and like so winx feeling i am obsessed with with this tin and how it looks um oh and then we have this stella figure this was actually an ornament i think i got her i honestly don't remember when i got her probably 2021 and i think she yeah she was definitely from ebay um maybe Mercari. i don't know um but she is so beautiful like and her eyes were so perfect too um and the next thing this was my first winx thing ever in the history of my life this was the first winx thing i ever owned so when i got when i was a kid i don't remember where i got it probably target but it is the welcome to althea junior novel and it is just oh my god i remember my mom reading this to me and being like hold on where is it Cause like junior novels have the little pictures in them and i remember we were looking at the pictures she was like what kind of outfits are these like yeah um and you know i'm almost 19 now so she can't really do anything about me collecting them now she, she doesn't care um and then my mom actually found these um at a thrift store i'm gonna show probably all three at once my mom found all three of these at once at the thrift store because she's obsessed with children's books and she was like looking through the junior novels and she found them and they're the graphic novels in english which is like kind of hard to find um like physical copies of the graphic novels in english but yeah this is them these are the junior novel not junior novels the uh graphic novels and this I actually got firsthand at Barnes and Noble it, and the reason that this chapter book is so like crummied up is because it was in my backpack for a long time because I think in like sophomore year of high school we had to read a book every day of class like like go through a book and I was just like might as well do something I want to read and I hate reading so much and I hated reading this even so yeah, and then we have the ColourPop eyeshadow palette. I didn't just get this because Winx. I love makeup, and I love Winx. So I was, I begged, I think it came out in like January 2022. I begged my dad to go and get it. And uh, he did, there was like other stuff. There was like highlighter and like lip gloss, but I just wanted this because like, why can't I open it? There we go. Oh, I mean, look at that. Look at that. And it's a pretty good palette too. And then the other... 
Now this is like the last piece of like like merchandise. Actually no, second to last. Um, this is the the Fate the Wink Saga lip gloss by NYX in the oh sorry in the shade Aisha, and it is such a pretty lip gloss, and it smells really nice. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, and now we have the dolls. The dolls are amazing. So the first, oh shit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying not to swear. The first one is Bloom Harmonics. I got her July 2021. I found her in a thrift store, like completely intact. The hair, I know the Bloom Harmonics doll has the hair down and I'm not usually a fan of changing how the dolls originally look, but like, look how better she looks with her hair and like a cartoon accurate hairstyle. And like, look at her little ringlets. They look so good on camera, but they kind of look trashy in real life. Um, this is one of my favorite Winx dolls I own. Like she is just phenomenally beautiful. And then, oh my God, this doll, I just recently got her like two weeks ago, maybe, maybe a week ago. This doll has been on my grail list forever. And like, ever since I started, collecting Winx dolls I wanted this doll and she's not complete at all but I I don't care she was cheap and I wanted her Sirenix Tecna by Jax I mean look at her face and look oh and look at her hair and her outfit is actually so pretty in real life like the materials they used are just so nice like she doesn't have her shoes she doesn't have her wings she doesn't have her little little armband but I don't care I'll find that stuff eventually look at her she is beautiful and then I think I got this doll maybe this last Christmas I think so it's Flora Sensational by Mattel she's so cute look at her she literally is so incomplete she only has her dress and her head is kind of wobbly but she's adorable looks ow looks a little wonky on camera um, and then we have Sofix Bloom. I got her uh, Christmas 2020. And I don't know what shoes these dolls belong to, but she's pretty incomplete, but she's still, she's still really cute. And then we have Sensational Bloom. I think I got her for my 15th birthday, so almost four years ago, damn. And yeah she's really pretty i love the way they did her hair like the ponytail is so soft and cute and even though she stole this dress from aisha she's still cute and her face is gorgeous too um and then we have another one of my favorite wink dolls is lovix bloom i got her i think in 2020 she is so beautiful her wings, the glitter on her wings are just, they look so good in real life. And like, oh, there's a squirrel behind me. I was wondering what that noise was. And her, like, she is just so beautiful. And her bangs and her outfit, amazing. And then we have Magic Winks Musa by Mattel. I know I got her in 2020 because I remember my mom um complaining about how i didn't wash the package before i opened it because of covid um but she is so pretty she used to light up a little bit she does not light up anymore though because she i've had her for almost for over four years like four and a half years maybe i've had her almost four and a half years she's so beautiful though her why is her headphones like crooked okay and then we have Roxy, this doll is so special. And if you've seen literally any of my videos about Winx dolls, um, you wouldn't know why. But this doll I found um, the same day I found Harmonix Bloom at a thrift store for like $5 in America. So obviously a collector donated her or someone who was a collector donated her. Um, I And also I was going through like the worst time in my life when I found her and this, I mean, obviously a doll didn't fix all my problems, but I was so like this doll just kind of, I shouldn't get emotional about a doll. I really shouldn't. But this doll was kind of just like a sign of like, you know, you're going to be okay. Like, like here's, here's a little something for you. Cause you've been going through a hard time. Like that's like, it felt like that doll was waiting for me almost. And I did, I am a dumbass, and I did break her arm. 
um soon after I got her but she's okay she's thriving <laughs> so that's Roxy and then I also that same day found Bloom Believix other than her wings being missing she is in perfect condition she, she has worn down a little bit since I've gotten her but she like literally her bangs were tied to her shirt still like that's how good condition she was there's still glitter on her socks she came with her shoes like I had a Bloom Believix doll when I was a kid. I don't remember her looking this good, okay? Um, and then we ha then we have Tecna Believix. Um, I got her Christmas 2020, and her wings didn't come like this. I accidentally broke her wings because I had dropped her, but she is in good condition. Wh whose shoes are these, by the way? What are these shoes? Because she came with these. I don't know what they are, but she's gorgeous i love her i'm just gonna start putting them here because i ran out of room next to me and then we have flora believix i remember when i first started collecting wing stalls wanting her so 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 bad the fact that i paid 60 dollars for this doll i usually don't spend more than like 30 dollars on anything winks related but this i had to and also her flower used to have a little iridescent coating on it but it fell off um, and she's missing her socks, but other than that, she's complete and she's gorgeous and her wings did break a little bit. Like, these dolls wear down over the years, even though I barely touch them. And then we have Stella Believix. She is so gorgeous. Whose shoes are these? I've been trying to look for, like, I think I found, actually, no, but I, the, the whose shoes are these? Like, I, it's been driving me crazy trying to figure out what doll these shoes belong to, but um, this doll is so gorgeous and her wings are in perfect perfect condition like not a speck of glitter is missing on them and she is a gorgeous face and she is beautiful and then we have musa believix um i got her christmas 2022 and she's wearing my childhood doll bloom believix shoes and she's in horrible condition but i really wanted her and she was only like 20 bucks so i asked my dad to get her for me for christmas and he did um yeah, she's really pretty though. And then we have Dance Night Stella. Um, she is so pretty. I got her June of 2020, I believe. I think I just finished freshman year of high school when I got her. Um, and she looks really wonky on camera for some reason, but she is so beautiful in real life. Her hair is so soft. I love when Stella wears yellow. Like, mm. And then we have Tecna Concert. Um, I recently just gelled her hair down because I'll look better. This is the oldest doll I have on display. Um, I think when COVID first started, my dad kind of felt bad for me and my brothers because we were just inside all day. So he bought us a little gift and this is what he bought me. And she's really special to me and I love her so much. And then we have my favorite doll, which is Dance Night Techna by Mattel. Like she's, her hair is so soft and like her face though that that mug is phenomenal like her outfit's pretty simple but like the face just mm, i'm a big fan of doll faces mm. and then we have bloom concert i just got her for christmas last christmas this even though she's like a budget jacks doll i've been wanting this doll so bad and i knew i couldn't get the witty one because yeah because like concert bloom's outfit is just so iconic and i love it so much um, and she is just gorgeously phenomenal. My phone does not want me to film this video. Okay, so last doll is I love my pet Aisha, and this is unfortunately my only Aisha doll I have. Um, but she's pretty, and I have to go really quick because my phone's running out of storage. And then the last piece that I have is this. I got it, I don't remember when I got it, probably 2020. Uh, it's a new in box, it's really nostalgic, I love it. And then there's also, um, the, a mat I have. I'll put the stock photo of it because uh, it's not really looking to go right now. It's my favorite item in my collection and I love it. Okay, thanks. Subscribe.